Hey guys, we are here on Eat It Up's first episode here in Baltimore, Maryland, where we are going to sit down at Soju Restaurant with Sushi Bruce, who we hear is the talk of the town here in the city. So we're going to check it out, get an assortment of sushi, and we are going to have ourselves a good time. Come on inside. Tell me... Um, what we have here and maybe what we should try whenever people come to the restaurant and order. Mostly it's our popular fish. You know? Okay. Yeah. That's a bluefin tuna. Bluefin tuna. Yeah. The salmon from Faroe Island. Yeah. Okay. Bluefin tuna. Uh huh. Okay. The salmon. Yeah. Salmon. Oh, this is the uh, fresh yellowtail. Yellowtail. Okay. This is the uh, seabring. Seabring. Yeah. Like a like a snapper family. Yeah, it looks like a snapper. Snapper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm, I like a challenge, and I've never I've never tried sea urchin before, oh, so I, I'm gonna I'll, I'll give that a try. Let's 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 dive into the sea urchin. Let's give this a try. Okay. There's a soy sauce over there, you know. It doesn't need it. Oh, yeah. It doesn't need the soy sauce. That's 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 awesome. Yeah. That's the, the first time I've had it. It almost says it's. It has the, the taste of the sea, of the ocean, but it yeah. it also, it tastes, um, it has its own like smoky flavor too. It's really good though. Uh -huh. It doesn't need so soy sauce. Oh, okay. um, I'm a big soy sauce and wasabi guy, so. Uh -huh. um, those of you that um, haven't had sea urchin, try sea urchin, this is awesome. He gets it especially from uh, Japan. So what, where, where, where else are you gonna take us? Where are you gonna take us on your, uh, on, your, on the food spectrum. Yeah. So uh, this one, appetizer, yeah. Uh -huh. You can okay. eat the, like a nigiri sushi first. You know? Okay. Yeah, grab it. You can dip the uh, fish first. Okay. Yeah. Not the rice, but the other dip the Yeah, fish yeah, yeah. First. So if yeah. you dip the rice, they're gonna suck the rice. Soy sauce is gonna suck the rice. Don't, you know? don't dip the, uh, the uh, rice, rice yeah. first. It's Got like it. a sponge, you know? Yeah. I mean, I love sushi, and this is, this is awesome. Yeah. This is a great addition. What is this on the top? Oh, it's going to be uh, Yuzu. Yuzu? Yeah, Yuzu Citra. Okay. Yeah. Yuzu. Yeah. Yuzu. Like this. Yeah. Okay, so um, you were making this tempura, so I'm going to yeah. try that. And we saw that from the, uh -huh. from yeah. the beginning. And, and the, the system that you have back there is really efficient. They're really, really clean. And uh, um, he has a really, really um, dedicated staff. And, oh. and I, I love that about what, what I learned from mm -hmm. you today. Yeah. So let, let me try this. Tempura shrimp. So, and yeah, this, this is for yeah, the, yeah. This is dipping for the sauce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's try this. Okay. It goes. Right. So how did you, how did you perfect this? What is the, the batter? Just the, uh, one of the our technique, you know. Yeah. It doesn't come out just like putting the oil. It doesn't come out like this. <laughs> you need a like skill, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some more like a technique, yeah. I can I can taste I can taste the his technique that he's talking about. I can taste his artistry and um, how efficient he is with his team. I can taste that all in his food. Um, from the batter, very flavorful. From uh, the way he uh, prepares his fish to his presentation is is awesome. Look at this right here. This is their famous sushi burrito um, I mean even just being here um, they've already had about 20 to 30 different orders of burritos so check this out look at all of that love right there look at that all right so this is their famous hot night baby it has crab meat shrimp tempura and I think it has you said it has honey on it no, 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 it's There's tastes sweet, yeah. It tastes sweet, okay, yeah. okay, let's give it a try, let's give it a try. It's called eel sauce, yeah, eel sauce. And some eel sauce. Hot night baby. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. That's it right there. All right, so here are uh, his famous edamame. We saw them being made back uh, in the uh, kitchen, and we have... Um, I don't think he wants to give us a special recipe with this because uh, this is amazing. I, I got to try some already. So, uh, 
Oh my god. This is amazing. I... I'm not a big edamame guy, but I would have a tub, a refrigerator full of these. This is... I can't really describe it. It's a spicy, yet tangy, yet savory taste all in one. It's the best way I can describe it, so you're gonna have to come here to try it. So, uh, uh -huh. what's your advice to any new chef or, or aspiring chef that would love to you know, own his own restaurant one day and be a master chef like you? You know, it's very tough, tough, what is it? Tough job, you know? Yeah. Like, you have to work like 10 hours, more than 10, 12 hours, you know? You don't have time to meet friends. You need a, like, also need a special girlfriend, you know? Yeah. Very exactly. lonely, lonely job, you know? Very lonely, you know? The one thing you have to make a, like, right, a right food, you know? Yeah. Not like cheating customer, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I always tell my staff, customers are watching. Customers are smarter than you. you know? So well, don't cheat a customer. So that's it. So honesty. honesty. Yeah, honest. Yeah, honest. You know? That's it. That's it. That's what yeah. he brings to his food uh -huh. is his honesty, which we can taste. Yeah. So thank yeah. you so much, Bruce. You're awesome. Uh -huh. um, and uh, we'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs>